forward. A 95-year-old Ghanaian World War II veteran, ex-pirate Ashite Hammond, has set himself a challenge of walking two miles a day for a week to raise money to help in the fight against coronavirus. Ex-private Ashite Hammond aims at raising £500,000 to support frontline workers and vulnerable African veterans. This 95-year-old Ghanaian World War II veteran, ex-private Ashite Hammond, a week ago, he began an ambitious journey from his residence at Osu in Accra through the Osu Cantonment Road, popularly known as Oxford Street, to Dankwa Circle and back to his residence. He walked for 14 kilometers in seven days. Ex-Private Hammond was a member of the Gold Coast Regiment of the Royal West African Frontier Force which fought along the British Army during the World War II. He was also one of the former war veterans who were shot at by the British colonial soldier on February 28, 1948, which is now referred to as the 28th February Crossroad shooting. The World War II veteran told GBC News Sports what motivated him to support health workers in the fight against COVID-19. Actually, I saw Colonel Tom Moore in preaching that he raised an amount of money, that means for the frontline people, to help them, to buy their equipment and others, gloves, everything. And uh, at his backyard garden, pushing, at that time he was 99 years. Now, by the time he completed it, it was 100 years. And when I saw him, I realized that as a Kenner, he fought in Burma. And I also fought in Burma. He did it in Britain to help his people. So I decided, that why not? I also fought in Burma. And with my men, my, my colleagues, many of them died there. We fought a physical war. Now we are faced with another different war, invisible war. This virus is invisible. But we, in Burma, physical, you see your enemy and then you, you plan your strategy, how to defeat the enemy. But this one is not so. Rather, the enemy attacks you. It's invisible, you cannot see it. Yet I decided to do it, to raise money, to help all the frontline people across Africa. Ex-Private Ashiti Hamong had some advice for the youth on the need to respect the health protocols in place by the government. We, the older generation, we take advice, we take instructions. Nowadays, no, it's not like our days. I'm ab advising all the youth in our country and across the whole of Africa. They must adhere strictly to all the instructions given to them by the doctors. They have to cover their face, they have to wash their hands, everything, because the disease is an invisible one. It is not physical that you can see. So that was why they have given them all the instructions. If they obey, they will be alive. If you don't obey, then it means you are condemning yourself. You end up at the cemetery. Ex-private Ashiti Hammond says the money accrued will be used to purchase personal protective equipment, PPE, for frontline workers and vulnerable veterans. In